Hey guys, uh, so uh, today I'm going to talk to you guys a bit about uh, setting up and configuring Pac-Man to work correctly on your Steam, uh, Steam Deck. Uh, so normally Pac-Man uh, will probably present you with an error if you try to use it. Um, so what you need to do is, or, or what that error is, is it's basically a GPG signing error. And, um, and then if you try to fix it using instructions online, a lot of people try to use these two commands that I'm showing here in this, this screenshot I took, um, where you do this init and populate Arch Linux, and you'll get this error here, and this will make it so it won't work. And then when you try to install packages, it's going to say, well, we can't trust the package or whatever, and it just doesn't work. Um, and so that is not ideal. Fortunately, I have a pretty easy method to fix this, and I, I want to show it to you because it's been a constant thorn in my side, and it's annoyed me for a long time. So I thought I would do this quick video uh, about it. I've actually got a full breakdown uh, video that I'm probably going to upload after this at some point um, that will give you a really full explanation of how to how to fix it and, and, and all the ins and outs. Um, but I wanted to do this quick video just to kind of give you the really brief, this is just how to fix it. Uh, for everybody who's just looking for a quick solution. So let's get right into it. First thing, if you don't already have one, create yourself a password. Okay, so I just do PASSWD. Uh, and then in my case, I've already got a password. You type something in twice. Note, it's not going to type anything. So just trust that it's typing. Make sure you remember what it is, because if you don't, it, it'll be bad. Uh, and just be careful that you enter in something that you, that, that you know what it is and that you can remember. Um, so once you have your password set, you need to disable your read-only file system. So sudo, uh, and then, not system, um, steam os read-only, and then you want to do not enable, but disable, right? So disable it, type that password we just gave it, uh, and then you should get no output like that. That means it worked. Now we're going to cd into the etsy pacman uh, .d directory. Okay, so in here, if you ls, uh, which uh, list, list your files, ls, you'll get uh, GNU PG uh, directory, a folder, and then you'll also see that mirror list file. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove that GNU PG folder. So just be very careful and type exactly sudo uh, rm rf GNU PG, just like that. Spaces and everything, just like I have it. Sudo space rm space minus rf space GNU PG. Do not put a trailing forward slash. It makes it way too easy to do that, which will delete your entire file system. You don't need it, so don't use it. If you don't, if, if you don't use it, lose it, right? So j just do that. It's the safest way to do it, okay? Press enter. If you ls again, you'll notice that, fo that folder is gone. If you have those results, you've done everything correctly. Now, <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to enter those two commands that I showed you before when you got the error. So we're going to do sudo pacman uh, dash uh, key and then dash dash init. Once we have that done, uh, you should get no error. Everything should be green. You shouldn't see any red stuff or anything like that. Um, and everything should just look pretty normal, okay? Then you're gonna type in uh, populate Arch Linux. So sudo pacman dash key dash dash populate Arch Linux, okay? And make sure you put the spaces in there appropriately. So sudo space pacman dash key space dash dash populate space Arch Linux, all right? Press enter. Once you do that, you should see that there's no errors, hopefully. Um, give that just a few seconds here. It doesn't take but a minute. All right, so once you have that done, at this point, you are good to go. Your Pac-Man is fixed. That's all it took. And we can prove that by doing sudo pacman minus s for install for some reason. It actually means sync, but install. Y to update the uh, database, uh, the package database and then you to just update the package if it's out of date. And then CalSeg, for instance, will work, right? So we can do that. And then uh, mine's already installed, so it's doing a reinstall. Uh, here, the capital Y means it's the default setting, so you can just press Enter if you like, or you can put a, a Y in if you prefer. Uh, it does not mean that you have to put a capital Y. So just press Enter, um, and it should get you going. Mm, I got a whole bunch of warnings, though. Oh, I know why. It's probably because I had a half installed. Okay, that's fine. Um, so if you do RS, it'll actually remove it. Let me see if I can do that again real quick. If I do SYU, let's see if that actually that was better. Yeah, okay, so that's better. Yeah, I had a half installed because I, I did a prior take on this video that uh, that 
that I, I, I did the install with the read-only flag off, and that, that doesn't behave very well. Um, so you just need to remove it and then re redo it, that's all. Okay, so at this point, you should have cal say installed. You can test that by doing cal say and then adding like a quote or something. And if you press enter, you'll get a little cow with a speech bubble over its head. He's a very simple application that is very low and lightweight or whatever, so it should be fine. Uh, keep in mind if you're going to do this, um, that uh, packages you install via this method um, may not survive a, uh, an update of the operating system. Um, and also keep in mind that if you do dfpackh to see the uh, storage capacity here uh, is 5 gigs, uh, that's all you have to install packages via this method. Okay, flat packs get installed into your home directory in a, in a dot var directory, and so they are uh, they have access to the majority of the storage on your Steam Deck, whereas uh, normal packages via the native Pacman tool get installed this way. Um, so uh, or get installed to the actually well they kind of get installed everywhere, but they they generally live in the slash user directory. That's where the executables, the binaries, live. Um, and uh, and and so you don't have a lot of storage. So don't go crazy. If you can install something from Flatpak, do install something from Flatpak. Don't don't rely on Pac-Man for stuff you don't need it for, is what I'm saying. But for those of you who really want to use Pac-Man, now you know how to use it. You should be good to go at this point. The only other thing I'd remind you to do is uh, set your read-only flag again because that's a nice security feature to have. Uh, so Steam OS read-only, and then instead of disable, just do enable and then your system will be read-only again. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this has been helpful for you. I hope you learned a lot. Uh, this will probably be the fastest video or the shortest video I've ever made on my channel because I really wanted to make it short for you guys because, you know, I can be wordy. Um, so uh, that's it for me. I've got a whole bunch of content planned in the future that's going to be reliant on this. So this is a prerequisite video to other videos I'm going to do. And I may post a longer, fuller version of this with more in-depth explanations at a later date as well. So let me know if there's interest in that. Uh, and that's it. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.